Watcher gamers, welcome back to the Zeus Stars and Emulator Retro Game Channel, and I go by the name of Zeus. And for this let's play, I'm going to bring you Golden Axe 2 for the Sega Mega Drive Genesis system, the sequel to the very classic uh, Golden Axe 1. For me, this was much better. Um, it had better characters in it, uh, such as those two guys, one on the left, one on the right, those big horseman bloke purple things. I thought they were really cool with those weapons. Um, I thought the intro was cool, like that you see there. The music's snazzy. It just felt more polished than the first one. Um, and also, uh, two things about this version, unlike Golden Axe 1, whatever, uh, you, when you pick up an opponent, you can sling him or her in any direction you want. The first one, you could. Uh, whatever face, direction you was facing, you picked up an opponent, you can only throw it in that way. Also, the other improvement in this game is, no matter how much magic potion you've got, you don't have to use all of it in one go, unlike the first one with one press of a button. In this one, you keep your finger on the fire button and you highlight the, the squares in the bottom left uh, of the picture there in demo mode, just under magic. You can select as much uh, magic as you want to use. You don't have to use all of it. So that's very useful. Um, I thought that was much, much, much better. Um, there was a Golden Axe 3, but unfortunately in PAL land, such as Europe, uh, it was never released. The story goes is that they felt it was such a bad game, it wasn't worth releasing it. And so I never got to play it until I got a PS3 and they released a big Mega Drive compilation, uh, a one disc Mega Drive compilation. I can't remember what it was actually called, but it's, it's got about 40 Mega Drive games on there. And three of them was Golden Axe 1, 2 and 3. I finally got to play Golden Axe 3 and I got to tell you, um, it's not that bad, it really isn't. I, I was expecting a hell of a lot worse, and it wasn't, it, to the point that I thought, I've seen a lot worse games on the Mega Drive released over here. Um, so I don't see why it couldn't be. A bit like Double Dragon 2, that wasn't too bad on the Mega Drive. Again, never released in Europe, just in Japan, I think. Uh, they felt that was a bad one, I don't understand that, but um, these particular two games, this one, uh, Golden Axe 3 and Double Dragon 2, I thought a lot better than certain games that did get released in, in, in Europe, so uh, don't understand that at all. But I finally got to play it and I was quite impressed, but for me, Golden Axe 2, this one is the best. Um, I can't remember if I've completed it with cheats, I probably haven't, but if you want to see the entire game, just go to the link in the uh, description below this video. There's a link there, just click that, it will take you to my full upload of it without commentary so you can watch the entire thing or skip to the end and see what happens, that kind of thing. Also like that, look at that. I think the magic effects of this is, is brilliant as well. Um, the woman has all, always got the best magic. I always select her, she has the best magic. Um, she, the top power is the dragon. It comes down from the top of the screen to the bottom. I actually did prefer the dragon in the, in the original game where it swoops from left to right or right to left. I can't remember the dragon's head. I thought that was cool. Uh, also in this game, there are um, many different characters uh, compared to the first one. There's a, the skeletons, for, for instance, are different colours. You get white ones, you get grey ones, you get purple ones. And it just gives more variety to the game. Um, in two-player mode, it's really fun. It's great fun. Um, let's have a game of it and see, see how far we can go. You can go to the options screen, the select, difficulty. We'll stick it to normal and we'll just carry on. Uh, one player, normal game. Or you can do dual as well. Um, uh, which is one-on-ones, um, -on -one. so you just go for all the baddies one at a time. It's pretty interesting, but I prefer obviously playing the proper game. Mm. So here we go. So I've got, just got to remember, that's attack, that's jump on my magic, yeah. So you can, you can charge up, let's have a look, uh, which is the one, there it is. And I love the sound effects of the swishing knife as well. I think that's really cool. Little bleh, would you kill him? Not as funny or as bad as the uh, Double Dragon pute noise when you kill them in the, in the Amiga version. But it still sounds as if they're puking in it when you kill them. If I can show you, if I can pick one up there, I can... Well, I didn't do it quick enough, but you can decide which way you throw her. You can't do that in the first version. You collect these, you get your magic potions. See that? Turn that way and throw them that way. In that way, so you can't do that in the first game. Very responsive controls. Yeah, very playable. I'm, I'm very happy with the with the response of the controls. There, no delay, 
the such on these things, some bloody things. Well, I'll be kicked off it out pretty quick. You can do a special move. Oh, there we go, there's a special move. Nope, let's get you off, thank you. Throw you that way, why not? I don't really want to get on that. No, so he does. Well, knock me off, I don't want to get on that silly thing. Yeah, you gotta sleep and run off or whatever you wanna do. Not interested in you. So you can use a there's a one level magic, we use the one, that's simple, but the effects of her magic, they've really gone all out on it. It's very impressive. But I'll try and get the fifth magic's my favourite. You saw that in demo mode, so I might not even select that because you've seen it in the demo mode now. But yeah, it's a good two-player game. I, I prefer to use the bloke, but his magic uh, is, is whack compared to her. She's definitely got the best uh, effects for magic. Oh, I didn't press that. <clears throat> magic one doesn't really do much, to be honest with you. right down on them like that if you wanted to. Ah, nasty. Yeah, little puke noises, look. Ah, see, I love this. I mean, on the first one, it's just a big sort of caveman bloke with a big double-headed sledgehammer. But these guys are, are cool. I think whatever they are, I like them a lot better. Oof. Yeah. Pick him up, I don't know. Yeah, he's gone, that's level one. So now you've got to um, collect some energy and some magic potions if you can by getting these bloody things that run off all the time. I don't know what you call them. Necromancers? I don't know. They look like little things that are around around if you've ever played that game. <clears throat> so there we go, there's level one done. Uh, I think there's about five, six stages maybe to this game. Well, we can skip all this because, like I said, you can always watch it in the proper upload. You might get to see. Uh, see, it's starting purple now. So there's variety. There's different colours. It just makes it a bit more interesting. Uh, you tried to swipe me, didn't you? You tried to bloody boot me up the ass, and it wasn't happening, wasn't it? I caught you. Cool. Yeah, very responsive controls, I can't knock it. Oi, what are you doing? Some more magic, there's four. Try and get the full, the six magic. Uh, that's the... Uh... Ooh, they're gonna follow me, there it isn't. He's got no more magic potions. Can't remember what the fourth one is. Skeletons. <clears throat> Probably my favourite character, uh, apart from the bosses. <clears throat> six. So we've got six now. Let's, let's, um, that's it. Let's get him off me. See, look. If you keep your finger on it, and now you can. Boom. There's the, there's the big one. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And I think it moves, yeah, that's pretty cool. I still prefer the dragon of the original game, but yeah, you don't fuck about with that power. Uh, with a... Ooh. Mm -mm. Come here. So like I said, I won't do number five, because you saw that in the, um, in the demo. 
can see it in the upload, in the full upload. Now we've got um, uh, the one with no commentary. So now we've got sort of charcoal burnt skeletons, which are a lot harder than the white ones. Oh yeah, nice double contact there. Didn't do that time there. Uh, <clears throat> Live left. Can't remember if you can take. Yes, you can. You get three credits, but you can put a cheat mode in. I think if you got two. Um, well, you might be able to do it with just one. One controller and you get eight credits, but I'm not going to do that for a let's play. I'm not going to play this all the way through. <clears throat> yeah, but then later on you get purple skeletons and they're even harder. I don't know if there's other colours. can't remember now. It's been a while since I've played this. <clears throat> ah, nasty. They're very nasty, these guys. the other one. Go, go, go. Ah, here we go. Here's the purple ones. These are fuckers. These are not easy. But see what I mean? In the original game, it was just white ones. So it just gives it that little bit more cool factor. A little bit more interesting factor about it. chance of killing these fucking things. <clears throat> killing the undead. Yeah, um, one of my favourite games on the Mega Drive. In fact, one of my favourite games of, uh, of all beat em ups because it's just very playable and a good laugh in two player mode. Okay, it's the first boss. <clears throat> if you can just kill these things off or they keep coming back. So it's been a while since I've played this game. He doesn't charge at you so you can... Uh, but he does whack that bloody thing at you which isn't friendly. Oh, it's another life gone. Did you guys die? I can't remember. Yes, you do. Can't remember how to do that. Aren't you dead yet? You fucking you must be dead now. There we go. Right. Now I can deal with you. You must have some strength girl to pick him up. Right, change my tactic. I'm coming down for you. I need to bring him out a bit. He's while he's stuck on the side of the screen. I can't do many of my moves. Move into him. That's it. That's it. Pick him up. There we go. Stage two done. <clears throat> I said about six stages on this. I think. So I need more magic. Give me the magic. Give me the magic. Right, three. I'll try and get to four, level four, so we don't need to uh, look at all this bit and just crack on with the game. I'll try and get to level four, uh, magic four, and show you that one. Can't remember what it is actually. Knock two out at the same time. That makes no sense, does it? Try some, look at that, it just kicks all your asses there. Oh, he's got a hell of a reach with that bloody weapon. Yeah, come on then, it's fully blocked there. Die. Any more magic? Yes. Right, there's four. So let's not grab that one and use the four. 
fuck it, I'm tempted to use the fire because it's such a cool weapon. Go on, big boy. Eat that. Oh, I love that. That's such a cool, cool effect. I love that better than you can't sort Oh, you did. You didn't that time, did you? <laughs> Oh, I love that weapon. I couldn't resist it. I could have shown the weapon down, but I've, I've shown them all in the in the proper upload. So, like I said, you can always go to that and watch it. But I couldn't resist uh, showing you my favourite weapon uh, magic effect of the game. So I prefer the male character. He's got a better reach, a more powerful hit. But magic wise you can't beat the woman. Yes, she's got easily the best. Um, Come on then, you want some, do ya? Damn, I hate those bloody things, it's got vicious. Fuck her. Get out of my sight. Two energy bars left. One energy bar left, and I don't think I'm gonna get this is the end of the level, I think, already. Oh, I took a slice in there, didn't I? Oh, am I dead? I think I'm dead. That's it, I think. I'm not gonna continue. Credits three, nah, it's not worth continuing. I mean, three credits. Um, should I give it another go? Nah, that'll do, I think. That's enough for the Let's Play. Like I said, if you want to watch the entire game, uh, just go to my upload of it. Uh, the link's in the video description. But all in all, I look, this is a brilliant game. Um, I'd recommend it more than Double Dragon 1, which came out on the Mega Drive, which was very close to arcade, but for some reason in one player mode, I didn't find that very fun. I found it a bit boring. In two player mode, it's quite fun. But this game, Golden Axe 2, is fun in either one or two player. So um, I much more recommend this game uh, over that. That's Golden Axe 2 for the uh, Sega Mega Drive. Uh, cracking little game in, in my opinion. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching and until the next Let's Play, uh, happy gaming.